Hello, my name is Chris Irwin and I'm a Technical Solutions Professional on the Live at EDU team at Microsoft. Today we're going to be discussing dynamic distribution groups and how you create them using PowerShell for your Live at EDU tenant. As you can see, I have uh, several accounts created here. I've got some student accounts, I've got some teacher accounts, some staff accounts, and we're going to use PowerShell to create a couple of different dynamic distribution groups. One will be based off of pre-canned uh, flags or filters and the other will be a custom distribution group. We're going to be using the uh, PowerShell ISE.exe interface so it just makes it easy to select lines of code and execute them. Uh, that way I don't have to go through and type everything. So the very first thing uh, you'll notice that I've got highlighted is actually going to be our connection string. Uh, we're going to go ahead and execute that. It's going to prompt me for credentials for my Live EDU tenant. input those and we can see it's connecting it's loading up the commandlets now I'm connected so the first thing I want to do is uh, we're gonna do a get dynamic distribution group and what that's gonna do is give us a list of all dynamic distribution groups that are available currently uh, as you can see nothing came back that's because we haven't created any and none exist next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a new dynamic distribution group. We're going to give it a name of all business school. Uh, the included recipients will only be mailbox users and our conditional uh, or our filter essentially and this is a pre-canned is going to be conditional department and the department is going to be school of business. So anybody that is a mailbox user and is part of the school of business should end up in this distribution group. So we run the command. As we can see, we get all business school is the name. Uh, we didn't specify anybody for it to be managed by, but it was created. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to run these two commands. And basically, we're setting up a variable here. Uh, dollar sign PCDG is our variable. And we're piping or we're making that equal to. Uh, get dynamic distribution group and we're giving it the school name then we're gonna call the command like get recipient we're gonna pass it the recipient preview filter and we're gonna pass in the distribution group so we're gonna run both of these together and what that's gonna do is output everybody that's a member of this distribution group so essentially we've got five people that are members here So let's hop over to our mailboxes. Let's make this a little more user friendly here. So we've got Charlie, we've got Nancy, and we've got the student accounts. So let's take a look at Charlie here. Organization, sure enough, School of Business. Now, this is a dynamic distribution group. So let's say Charlie who is a student in the School of Business uh, decides he's going to move over to uh, the School of Liberal Arts. And we save that. We recalculate our membership here. So this is already highlighted. I'm just going to run it again. And there you go. Charlie is gone. He's no longer a member of the School of Business. The dynamic distribution group has been updated automatically. The next thing we're going to look at is our custom distribution groups. Um, let's say I want to create a distribution group for all students. There is no pre-canned one based on title. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm defining a new distribution group. I'm giving it a name of all students. And I'm going to specify a recipient filter. Now when you do a custom recipient filter, you're going to use the open brace here. Um, I'm going to be specifying a recipient type that equals a user mailbox. And I'm going to specify a title that equals student. And then close brace. So we're going to highlight that. And we'll run that line of code. As you can see, we've got an all students. Uh, distribution group now. 
let's go ahead and we're going to run basically the exact same command we're just passing in all students now as opposed to all business school and we're going to get that membership list there we go I've got Charlie and then my test mailboxes let's open it back up let's look at Charlie sure enough he's a student uh, let's say Nancy here was a teacher now she's going to become a student same thing applies we rerun our code and now Nancy is a member of the group now let's say uh, you want to see all of the groups we'll run this get dynamic distribution group again and it lists out our two different groups that we've created um, that's all fine and well now you need to remove a distribution group you're it just like all commandlets we're using verbs here so I've got get now I'm gonna use remove dynamic distribution group and I'm gonna specify the all business school distribution group that's the one we're gonna get rid of remove this it's gonna pop up and ask us are we sure we wanna remove it and tell it yes we, we definitely wanna get rid of this group it gets rid of it for us let's check and make sure that it actually removed the group and what do you know all business school has been deleted now we want to tear down our session the last thing you want to do is uh, forget to tear down the session otherwise you end up with a bunch of errant sessions sitting out there so we're gonna go ahead and do a get session and we're gonna pipe that into our remove PS session session has been removed if we want to validate that we can just run a get session again we see that nothing comes back. That concludes our demo. Thank you very much.